It's time for a video game related video, and I know I'm late on the release date, but I'm finally doing it. I'm going to do a video on Kirby, one of Nintendo's current series. I've been ready to talk about Kirby since I mentioned a couple times, but not a main video on Kirby. And while I'm two weeks late since the series turned 30, and while the first game came out in April in Japan, I decided to put this up this month instead of April. So now, Let's begin with the 30th anniversary of Kirby. Kirby is a series from Nintendo where the genre of Kirby is a platformer. At the time, Mario was the main one of platformers. It was up to Nintendo to make a new platformer game. Kirby was created by none other than Masahiro Sakurai. Yes, the same guy who made the Super Smash Bros. series. And thus, 1992 was the year Kirby debuted it. Kirby's first game was Kirby's Dream Land on the Game Boy. In the game, Kirby can inhale enemies and objects into his mouth. After that, he can spit out as a star-shaped projectile attack. He can even fly by inflating himself with a mouthful of air and flapping his arms. So yeah, a different take on Kirby's platforming than Mario or Sonic. The first game has traditional power-ups that Kirby gets, although they're not a big part of the gameplay. Also, in the box art, Kirby is white, rather than his traditional color, pink. Well, Game Boy kept it black and white during before color. So let's move on to Kirby's Adventure on the NES. While Dreamland was the first Kirby game and started on the handheld, Adventure was the first Kirby game on a home console. Plus, this game introduced the mechanic of copyability, which allows Kirby to eat enemies and gains new powers. And to this day, it has been used in almost every Kirby platformer. So now let's get to the Kirby games. Like Mario and Sonic, Kirby has main platformer games, but he has spin-off games and side games that don't involve the mains. Kirby has appeared in every Super Smash Bros. games. Kirby has a cartoon called Kirby Right Back At Ya, which I have seen a bit of the show. In fact, I'm going to talk about the show in the future. Kirby has one collection and that is the Dream Collection on the Wii back in 2012 during the 20th anniversary, which I own that collection. As of now, Kirby has a total of over 30 games and sold over 40 million units, so at least Kirby is one of the best-selling series for Nintendo. As for upcoming Kirby games, there is one coming up later this year for a spin-off game called Kirby's Dream Buffet, a party-based game. And early this year, Nintendo released Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the Nintendo Switch, which I am planning to get that, and once I get it, I will do a review on that game. As for other Kirby games, I am going to do them as a review, or even better than that. I will do a review on Kirby's Dream Land or Adventure, but I'm going to save those in the future. So yeah, that is all for the video on Kirby. Happy 30th anniversary to Kirby, the Pink Puffball. I will see you guys in the next video for a video game anniversary in less than a couple weeks. See you all then.